I've been looking at a lot of fan-made Shrunky phases, and some of them are actually pretty creepy looking. In this video, I wanna rank these Shrunkies from most creepy to least creepy, and I'll be basing my ranking on how they look, and in some cases, how they sound. The categories will be terrifying at the top, then fearsome, scary, and then fine is gonna be at the bottom, and that just basically means that they're not scary at all. Now, let's start out with the creepiest Shrunkies, and I think at the top is gonna be phase five and six, Mr. Sun. I feel like a lot of the phases just add a little bit more to the previous design, which is why I'm not gonna go too much higher than phase six, but Mr. Sun's design actually looks creepy. His phase six especially looks like a demonic eye that you would see in like some type of high fantasy game or a movie like Lord of the Rings. Next in his top tier is gonna be phase two, Mr. Fun Computer. And while I know some of you may actually be surprised at this one, but in my opinion, he is one of the creepier characters to be added in Sprunkies in general. And the reason that I think that mostly is due to his voice line here. The first time I heard this, it's actually the only thing in the Sparky mod that gave me chills. Now, I think those are the only three that I can place in the terrifying tier. Next, let's go ahead and move on to the fearsome tier. And the first character that we're gonna put here is going to be phase five and six, Simon. And while I know you can probably argue that phase two Simon is a little creepy looking, I like that they actually made these two versions look like real monsters, especially with the sharp teeth and red eyes. I also like that phase five has the eyes and the mouth, kind of like Sonic.exe or Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Next, I'm gonna add phase five and six silver, and these are the only really creepy versions of these characters. Most of the other ones just look silly to me. I've also started to notice after looking through all these designs that I think large bulging eyeballs just kind of creep me out. So I think that's just a personal thing for me. Next, we have phase five and six Durple. And I like these designs because they look like a demonic snake. I also think that the single red eye on phase six is actually really scary. Another reason that these two stand out for me is that they remind me of a character in Japanese folklore called Roku Rokubi, I believe. You might be familiar with her if you played that Roblox game called Mimic. I know it was popular like a couple of years ago. Next, I'm gonna add phase two Sky. This is the only really creepy version of Sky for me. I think this one kind of freaked me out because of how brutal his death was, especially considering that he's only 14 at the time. And also, I think all the poles coming out of his head reminds me of a old horror character that I grew up with called Hellraiser. Some of y'all may be too young to actually remember that character though. Next, I'm gonna add phase two, Mr. Sun. And I think the giant eyeball is just my weak spot, like I said earlier. I know most people are probably not bothered by it, but everyone has their weakness. Next, we have phase five and six, Venaria. And while I know phase five looks a bit more cool than actual scary, even though it does have all those creepy eyes, I think phase six is an absolute abomination. Venaria doesn't even look like a plant anymore, but just a pure monster. The last character that I'm gonna actually place in the fearsome tier is gonna be phase three and four Lime. They basically made this guy look like a zombie and his body is falling apart completely now, which is kind of sad when you kind of remember how he looked originally. He looked terrified to be there even before any of the bad stuff started to happen to him. And now he just looks like the walking dead. Now, starting the scary tier, I'm gonna go ahead and add phase five and six, Wenda. And while phase six is kind of creepy, I think they both look a bit too goofy to really scare me, which is why I'm kind of ranking these two on the lower end. Next, we have phase five and six, Orin. And I find it kind of funny that once he gets to phase six, he just looks like some type of fish monster. I don't know if y'all remember this, but there is a monster in World of Warcraft called the Murloc, and that's what it reminds me of, so I just can't take him seriously. The phase five is kind of interesting with the heart hanging out but overall he's just not super scary next i'm going to add phase three and four garnot and these two look pretty much the same he's a bit more creepy than phase two because his armor has a huge hole in it and you can actually see his rib cage and his innards and something about his eyes being crossed do kind of freak me out a little bit but overall he's not really that creepy Phase three and four Sky are next on the list. And while these two don't freak me out as much as the original, because I think they're a bit more tame, they are still too creepy to actually put on the lowest tier. Next, I'm gonna add phase five and six, Mr. Tree. And while phase five does look a little derpy, phase six is kind of creepy. I think the eye is pretty gnarly looking and the blood dripping from the mouth makes him look like a man eating tree in a way. So I don't think it'd be fair to put them at the lowest tier. I think I need to go ahead and put phase five and six gray next. And while his design doesn't really scare me, I do have to admit that phase six is pretty creepy. He looks like some type of demonic puppet that you would actually find like out in the woods in a horror movie or something. Phase five on the other hand is just a bit too goofy looking to actually be considered scary. 
Next, we have phase three and four, Orin. And I like that they stand with the theme of him actually having his body kind of blown open. It went from having his chest opened up to basically him having his face blown open. I also found it kind of interesting that phase three actually looks like how phase two pinky looks. And I don't think that they did this on accident since these two are actually dating in the lore. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put black here and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but it doesn't seem like black has a lot of other versions of himself out there while like these other Sparkies have a bunch of different phases. But the reason that I actually placed him in this tier is because his face is kind of creepy, even though like he isn't disfigured or bloody like some of these other characters. And I feel like he doesn't deserve to be at the bottom tier because he is kind of responsible for like the horror mod actually being a thing. Now, five and six Ratty are next and phase six was a bit creepy because it made Ratty look like a real person kind of like a old man in a way and while phase five isn't as creepy the hook through the eye is kind of a nice touch next we have phase three and four mr eye and i think that phase three is actually creepier than phase four the eye here looks a lot like the eyes that were in the background of the original sprunky horror mod while the phase four eye actually looks more like a star so it just doesn't really creep me out as much Next, I'm gonna put phase five and six Garno. And while these versions are scarier than the original, they don't really stand out too much. The teeth on phase six are a little bit creepy, but other than that, they just don't really do anything for me. After that, let's go with phase five and six Lime, which actually looks pretty good as far as design goes. I like that each phase, he basically loses more and more of his body. And by phase six, he's basically just a skeleton with a little bit of skin on his face. But again, Lime overall just looks too derpy to really be very high on the scare level for me. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add phase three and four gray. And while I don't think that he looks scary, the implications of how he looks is actually pretty creepy. He literally has a eye missing in phase three and has a knife through his head in phase four, which implies that he was not able to actually keep hiding when all this chaos broke out. Next, we have phase three and four Ratty, and it's hard to actually make out what's actually happening with him, but it seems like there are spikes being stabbed through his eyes and mouth, which is pretty gross, but I wouldn't really call it scary. I'm gonna add phases three and four Durple next, and this guy didn't make it too high on the list because these versions just look like a less scary version of phase five and six. The wide smile is kind of creepy, but it really just looks like the original Durple, just that now he has a long neck. When does third and fourth phase are next? And I actually think that phase three is creepier than phase four. Her face looks more like a skull than an actual cat face, while phase four reminds me of what she did to Tuner, which in my opinion is sweet justice. With that, let's move over to the Sprunkies that I think are fine, which just means that they aren't really scary at all. And the first one that I'm gonna put here is gonna be phase three and phase four silver. And you probably notice that they look almost identical to each other and neither version is really scary. I just think they look more derpy than anything. I think I need to put every version of pink in this tier as well. Phase two pinky is the only one that's kind of creepy. All the rest of them just look like a hot mess. It also didn't help that phases three to five all look alike, just in like different positions. And phase six is just phase five with a different colored background. And while I do feel bad for the way that Pinky dies because she was kind of a sweetheart, she definitely isn't a scary character at all. Phase five and six Sky are next. And I know some of you were probably expecting this one to be higher up for me, but I think the nails and the eyeball just didn't really creep me out. It almost felt like it was just over the top to the point where it was actually kind of comical. And phase five is just too goofy looking to really be scary for me. Next, I'm gonna add all the versions of Turner. And for me, none of them are really scary, but rather just sad. The original is just him with a hole in his head, but as you go through the phases, his body starts to deteriorate and he ends up being tied up and having tape around his mouth. And eventually when he gets to like phase six, he's just a red blob of flesh, which is really sad because if you all remember, he was like the only shrunky that was trying to keep the other ones safe. So it's kind of sad to see him go out in such a horrible way. Now I'm sure this next one won't surprise anyone, but I have to go ahead and add Jevin into this tier. None of his phases are scary at all. He just looks bored the whole time. And when you get to his fifth and sixth phase, he's just like blacked out for some reason. All in all, I can't really say that he's very creepy. Next, we have phase two, Winda, and she isn't really that scary. I guess you can argue that her eyes and her smile are a bit weird and the blood implies that she is a murderer, but her design isn't actually creepy at all. Next, I'm gonna add phases two through four for Simon next. I didn't find any of these to be very scary, mostly because I can't take those large horse teeth very seriously. They just don't really invoke fear, even though I do know that he bit off half a bruised head. Now, no one will probably be surprised at this next one, but Mr. Tree is gonna also be at the bottom of this tier. 
Phases two through four are really just silly looking for me. The missing poster isn't really scary and the phase three and four versions just look like they have a eye at it and teeth, but he's still just a tree at the end of the day and it's really hard to be creeped out by a tree. Derp was gonna be next on the list and him being able to unhinge his jaw is a little bit weird looking, but I was never actually really creeped out by his character, which is why I have to place him fairly low here. Venaria phases two through four are also gonna be placed together because they all look pretty much the same. And while the thought of having a plant growing out of your body is kind of scary, her design just doesn't really give me chills. Like a lot of the other characters, I just feel more sorry for her for the way that she died than anything else. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add Brud. And none of his phases were very scary for me. I feel the same way about him as I did about Venaria, which is that I just feel bad for him, especially since I know that he was just like a dumb sweetheart of a character. Mr. Funball also kind of falls into the same category, meaning that none of his designs are really horrifying at all. Even when you get up to the fifth and the sixth stage, the only thing that's kind of interesting is that his phase six has like an air screen and then you'll see it crack and a face emerges. But considering that this character is definitely one of the good guys, I'm not really surprised that none of his designs are very scary. Next, we have phase two, Oren. And while I can understand why some people may find him scary, I just thought that he was interesting because of the way that he was killed, which is by like a old Viking ritual. But other than that, I just felt kind of bad for him as well. Silver makes it to the bottom of the list because he's one of the few characters that I felt looked kind of funny. It just seems so goofy having him running around making all that noise, which of course explains probably why he ended up dying in the first place. So I just really can't see him as like a creepy or a scary character. Lime, of course, is going to make it to the very bottom here because even though his skin is peeling off his face and all that, it's kind of hard to take him seriously with his goofy facial expressions and also knowing that he allowed Ratty to hit him with a hammer and he didn't really do anything. He just seems kind of like a pushover of a character and no matter how bad his design gets, he's never really going to be like a top tier scary character. And speaking of Ratty, he also makes it to the bottom here because even though his image could be seen as scary, I was always wondering if someone did this to him or if he did it to himself, which I think kind of distracts from him being creepy at all. And finally, we have phase two gray and there isn't really a whole lot scary about this character. He was basically just a sprunky trying to survive and hiding his way out of danger. And for the people that may be wondering where the other versions of Mr. Fun Computer are, I actually cut them out because they all are basically the same, just that some of their voices are distorted. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe to David Crumb, remember the Oris Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.